Hello, I'm uh, Philip Arder, author of loads of books, including uh, The Grunts, which are illustrated by Axel Scheffler, the first one, The Grunts in Trouble. I'm probably best known for my Eddie Dickens books, which started with Awful End. And then there's my Grotan Tales series, the first of which won the Roald Dahl Funny Prize. And what these three books have in common, apart from being beautifully written, of course, is that they are funny books. So people often ask me for tips about writing funny, but my tips are more generally about any kind of writing, because we all write the way we have to write. And I suppose the first thing is, write as much as you can. People say, read, read, read. If you want to write, read. But if you only read, you don't write. And you need to write as well as read, so do some writing. So try and put aside a time that's your writing time, and don't let anything distract you. And even if what you're writing isn't very good, at least you're writing. And the other one is, never throw stuff away. Uh, once you've written something, you might sit down and go, I've got a fantastic idea for a story, and it's going to be a whole book, and it's going to be great, and then you realise you've almost written out the whole story in a couple of pages, and you think, well, I don't know what to do now, I've almost told it all, or I don't see where it goes. Rather than throwing it away, keep it stored on the computer, or keep it printed out somewhere, and come back to it later on. And I've actually written books that incorporate, that include bits that I wrote years ago. And I go back to them and I look at them and I go, oh, that's not very well written, I don't like the way that's written. And then I read a paragraph and go, that's really well written, I probably couldn't write that now, because I'm in a different place in my head, I'm in a different mood. I really like this bit and I'll take it and I'll use it. And so keep things. And another thing is, if you do get to write regularly, don't write yourself out. Don't write till you've written every last drop out of that scene. So you've said, right, today I'm going to write about the best bit by the ducks trapped in the dustbin. Don't write till you can't think of any more. Always go to bed or always stop writing where you know where you're going to pick up the next day. And always reread what you've written. And I always reread, and even if I've written page after page after page, I go back sometimes to the very beginning and reread. So I'm really in the moment, in the mood. And then when I get to that bit, I'm not going, oh, what can I do now? Because I've left that little bit that helps me. It's the hook to get me writing on from there. The bit about writing funny is, is harder because we all find different things funny. And I can give more advice about what not to do than what to do. But when you're at school, the in-jokes you have about teachers and the in-phrases, you at school, all your mates find funny, but if you write them down, they don't mean anything to anybody. So that's quite tricky. So you need to think that funny isn't as easy as, as it seems necessary. And make yourself laugh. There's a very famous guy called Woody Allen, and he says when he writes a script, he often finds himself laughing. And he's not being showy off, but he's saying, because he's creating that funny thing for the first time, if he as the first audience of that doesn't find it funny, how can he expect anyone else to find it funny? Um, and I suppose my other piece of advice would be to grow a very impressive beard. Um, and if you're a girl, obviously that's harder, so pay someone else to grow one for you. And you two could, could have this, because it's a bit like a badge of honour when I go around. People go, hey, love the beard, and secretly, I think my beard is probably more popular than I am. Mm. Mm. Mm.